Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Tron 35W travel power strip with gallium nitride 3 USB-C charger. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this has three AC outlets, one USB-A and two USB-C outlets, and the front can be detached so you can use it as a separate charger. The plug depth on this is 0.33 inches and the cord length is 5 feet. On the back we have more specs. So the USB-A output is 5 volts at 3 amps, 9 volts at 2 amps, or 12 volts at 1.5 amps for 18 watts max. Then the USB-C 1 and 2 output is 5 volts at 3 amps, 9 volts at 3 amps, 12 volts at 2.92 amps, 15 volts at 2.33 amps, 20 volts at 1.75 amps for 35 watts max. The total output is max 35 watt PD fast charging. The rated power for the extension cord is 13 amps or 1625 watts max. So let's get this open. Okay, so here we have the extension cord and charger. We have a welcome guide. So this is going to have a lot of the stuff we saw on the back, and this is for the extension cord. This is for the charger. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for. So this is going to show you how much charging you get depending on which ports you use. So either of the USB-C ports is going to have PD 35 watt max charging when you're using only one port on the charger. And then the USB-A will have quick charge 18 watts max charge if you're only using the USB-A port. Now, if you're using multiple ports, it shows how that breaks down here. So for instance, if you're using the USB-C and USB-A port, your max PD is 20 watt on USB-C and your max on USB-A is 15 watt. Now, if you're using all three ports, you can get 20 watts out of the USB-C port one and then USB-C two and USB-C a, you can get 15 watts. So if you're not getting the fastest charging and you've been swapping the ports around, it says here you want to unplug it and plug it back in so it can reset. So here's the extension cord. And I want to point out that you can buy the extension cord and the charger separately. So if you don't want the whole thing, you can buy the parts or maybe you could buy just the extension cord and then maybe swap the charger between the two. It gives you lots of options there. So this has built-in strap to hold the cord together. Pull that off. So here's the plug you plug into the wall. You can see this is super thin here. So if you have furniture going up against the plug, it's not going to get in the way. So you don't find plugs much thinner than that. It's also angled too. So if you have an outlet that's lower to the ground, it gives you a little more clearance. Now the plug itself is also flat and that goes up to the power strip. So I'll pull this out. So here you have three grounded outlets, one on the end, one on top, one on the bottom. On the side here, it says the maximum wattage. And then here is the charger. So this has two prongs on it. And this shows the output here. And then on the other side, we have the USB-C ports and USB-A port. So you could, in theory, plug this in anywhere here. But when you plug it in like that, it has a nice look to it. It's really slim. It looks like it goes together. So in this configuration, you still have your two AC ports and you have your charge ports. So say you go to a hotel and you have one of those fancy lamps with an outlet in it. You could pull this off of here, plug that directly into the lamp. Now you may go to another hotel where it doesn't have an easy to access outlet. Well, in that case, you could go down and plug this into an outlet in the wall, bring this up on your desk, and it gives you easier access to AC ports and it gives you those charge ports too. So it's nice to have a two-in-one system like this so you can pack all of this together and you have an extension cord and the charger together. I'm going to go ahead and measure this. They said it was five feet on the package. I'm gonna see the actual length. So from the tip here to here, and I don't know if I stretched it all the way, but I got around 64 inches, so it was definitely over five feet. I think five feet was measured right around here somewhere. So you're definitely getting the five foot out of that. So let's go ahead and test this out. So I'll plug this in here. And this is a power meter, so this will tell us our standby power. So it can take a second for it to normalize. Okay, so it looks like our standby power on this is around 0.3 watts. And there is a little light here letting us know it's powered. So now if we unplug this, that's gonna drop down to zero. So let's try charging some things with this. So here I have a Nintendo Switch. The Switch charges with USB-C PD. So I'll plug a PD cable into the Switch and I'll plug the other end into the charger on the USB-C one. And here we can see this is charging. So next I have an iPhone. I have a USB-C to lightning cable. So I'll plug lightning into the phone and I'll plug the USB-C into the charger. And now we're charging both devices. Let's add in an Android tablet. So this has micro USB. It has USB-A on the other end. I'll plug that in here. And now that's charging. So now we're charging all three devices. And we're currently drawing right around 25 watts. So the max we can achieve there is 35 watts. We're drawing around 24 or whatever. 
but the charge rate's going to depend on the state of charge of the batteries. I think this is at 90%. I'm not sure the percentage here, here, but these are relatively full. If these had less charge in them, it would probably draw more power from the charger. Now, since this is gallium nitride, this is going to be more efficient and stay cooler than a traditional charger. But this is a relatively clean setup here. You have the charge ports on the end here. So all the cables are coming right here out on the end. And then you still have these two ports freed up to plug other things in. So here I have a MacBook charger. I'll plug that in there. And here's a network switch. Now, typically you wouldn't plug this in in a hotel room, but this kind of adapter, I wanted to show how it fits, like so. Now, if we unplug this, depending on what we want to plug in here, that could get blocked by this. You could flip this around. But in this orientation, if your transformer is sticking up or out, it should work fairly well with this, unless you have a weird combination where they run into each other. But for the most part, I think this is going to be pretty versatile compared to a traditional power strip where they're all in a line. So I'm showing this on my bench here, but I'm going to insert a clip here of this plugged into a wall outlet so you can see how slim it is against the wall. So here's a wall outlet. I'll plug this in. And you can see that's super flat against the wall. So that's the Tron Travel Power Strip with Gallium Nitride USB-C Charger. I really like how compact of a package this is. You can wrap up the cord, use that hook and loop fastener to keep it together, and throw this in your travel bag, and you have an extension cord and a charger all in one. And then when you get to your hotel, if you have an outlet on a desk, you don't have to have this long extension cord cluttering up your desk. You can separate out the charger and plug it into the lamp or the outlet on the desk. Or if you have a situation where there's no outlet, you can plug this in in the wall and then bring this up to your desk to give you power closer to where you're using it so you can plug in things like electronics, phones, and other things you're charging or powering. And as I said before, you can buy the components separately. So maybe you have an extension cord like this permanently on your desk, and then you have another one in your travel bag, and then you could just take the charger with you between your travel bag and your desk as you move around. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.